G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be having a look at how to solve some algebraic uh, equations pretty instantly, okay? So, uh, without much further ado, I'll, talk, I'll, talk, I'll show you the type of uh, questions we'll be doing with these. We're going to be doing these types of questions where, say, we had something like uh, 3x plus uh, 5, and we're going to divide that whole lot by 7, and this is going to be equal to 2. So, we're going to be asked to solve a question like this. And they're not too hard, but you sort of, there's a couple of things that are really, really handy to know with them, and so you can solve them really, really quickly. So I'm going to show you a first step, one that you probably won't have to do after a while. You'll do it uh, just in your head straight away. But first off, I think it's really important on this side to realise what's going on. So we're starting with an X, and I'm going to be thinking about this in terms of bond mass and that sort of deal, like if we can actually do this, but I'm not going to be writing what we're going to be doing down here in terms of bond mass, I'm just going to be writing what we're doing to x in terms of left to right, just in order of what's happening to it. So x, and first off we're timesing it by 3, then we're adding 5 to it, and then we're getting this whole amount that we've got there, and we're dividing it by 7, and we're getting the answer of 2. So to get our answer, what we're going to do to get it, to find out what x is, we're going to, this time we're running this way when we do it this time, but we're going to actually be running this way. And when we do this, we're going to be running in a reverse direction. We're going to be doing the opposite things, okay? So we're going to start with 2, and then instead of dividing, we're going to do the, by 7, we're going to do the opposite, which is times in by 7. And then instead of adding 5, we're going to take 5. And then instead of, <laughs> multiply by 3, we're going to divide by 3. Okay? So we'll be getting this direction. So 2 times 7 is 14. Take away 5 is 9. Divided by 3 is 3. So x is equal to 3. We can check this because we can substitute this back into our equation here. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus 5 is 14 divided by 7 is 2. So our answer is correct. Okay, do you see how we did that? So it's not overly uh, difficult. Some people do this, I think, quite naturally after they've been doing these uh, types of equations. And yeah, so, so you hit this stage, you'll just be doing them anyway, like this. So I'll give you another example of this. I'll give you an example like this one we just did, and then I'm going to give you a few different types of examples. So say we I do a, a different one. Uh, say we do 5x, and we, from this we're going to take away... Uh, ooh, what about we take away 8, and I'm going to divide this by 3, and the answer is 4. Okay? So, if we were doing this again, we could write out the order we were doing this. We're getting 5. Well, first off, we're getting x here. I'll write that out with x, and we're timesing it by 5. We're taking away 8. We're dividing the answer by 3. Okay, we're going this times this. We're taking away 8, and then we're dividing this whole bit by 3 here. Then we're getting this answer of 4. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the opposite here. We're going to run in this direction. Instead, we're going to times by 3, add 8, divide by 5 to get our answer. Okay, so 4 times 3 is 12, plus 8 is 20, divided by 5. Our answer is 20 divided by 5 is 4. So x is equal to 4. And we can substitute this in to check it once again. 5 times 4 is 20, take away 8 is 12 divided by 3 is 4. No problem. So what about we do a couple of different ones of these? Okay, so this really relies upon you knowing uh, the order of operations, that bond mass, ped mass thing, which is something you should know anyway if you're doing these. You have to know it. Okay, so the next one I'm going to do is, say, this one. What about we do... Um, x squared, <laughs> and we add 7 to that, and we've got the square root of that, and we're going to add 5, and the answer equals 9. Okay? Alright. Okay, so we first off, work out which order we're doing these in. Okay, so we're going, first off we're getting x, okay? Then what we're doing to x is, it's being squared, so it's being times by itself. I'm just going to do a little squared here, okay? Then we're adding 7, we're square rooting the answer, and then we're adding 5. 
and we're getting this answer of 9. Notice I haven't tried to write it in any formula up here. I'm just trying to write what's happening here because we're going to be doing the opposite, okay? I think that that's a really great idea to be able to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with our 9. We're going to now do the opposite. We're going to take 5. We're going to, the opposite of square root is squared, so we're going to square. We're going to subtract 7. Then we're going to square root our answer. And we're going to get our answer here. So 9 take away 5 is 4. 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16. 16 take away 7 is 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So x equals 3. Now let's check that out. So let's just substitute this in. x squared, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 7 is 16. The square root of 16 is 4, plus 5 equals 9. Our answer is correct. All right, a couple more examples here. Hopefully you're doing well on these. And hopefully this is something you've looked at and go, hey, look, I already do this. Because that's fairly possible as well. Okay, what about we do this one? Uh, what about we get 2x, the square root of 2x, and we're going to put that over 2, and we're going to make that equal 2. Okay, so first off we have to work out what order everything's happening in here. So what we did is we're starting with x, and that's being times by 2, and then what's happening is that whole amount's being square rooted. Okay, so square root, and then this whole answer here is being divided by 2. So divided by 2, and we're, this is equaling 2. So now let's do the opposite, okay? So, <laughs> divide by 2, the opposite is times by 2. The opposite of square root is to square. The opposite of times by 2 is to divide by 2. It's a lot of 2's. Okay, so 2 times 2 is 4. 4 squared is 16. 16 divided by 2 equals 8. Okay, so x equals 8. Let's substitute in our answer. It's a really good uh, thing to do. So. 2 times 8 is 16. The square root of 16 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Our answer is correct. One lucky last example here. Okay. So let's get rid of those. And okay, our last example here is say what we do is we go, uh, what about 5x. Um, minus duh, 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 5x minus 6 okay and then we're going to get that and we're going to square root that okay and then what we're going to do is times it by 4 and divide it by 2 okay I wonder what that's going to equal um, that will equal 6 okay so let's see if we can work this one out it's a big one yeah Okay. Alright, so let's do this. Um, 5x. This is like first we're getting 5. We're x, we're timesing it by 5. We're subtracting 6. We're square rooting it. We're timesing that by 4. And then we're dividing by 2. And this equals 6. Okay, so let's see if we can do this. Um, let's do the opposite here. So we're going to times by 2. We're going to divide by 4. We're going to the opposite of square root is squared, we're going to add 6, we're going to divide by 5, okay, in that order, so 6 times 2 is 12, divided by 4 is 3, 3 squared is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15, 15 divided by 5 is 3, okay, so x equals 3. Alright, so let's just substitute that in, 5 times, uh, five times 3 is 15, take away 6, is uh, 9, the square root of 9 is 3, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 divided by 2 is 6. So our answer is correct. I was a bit worried about that one, I must say I was making that one off the top of my head. <laughs> so uh, we didn't do too badly, I, I was expecting it to be good, but uh, there you go. Anyway, hopefully that was of some help to you. So you get that idea of how you go about solving these questions. And you will hit the stage, I must say, where what you'll do is you won't worry about this particular step here. Okay, so what you do is you automatically start going, well, what I'll do is I will go 6 divided by 2 is 12, divide, 6 times 2, sorry, is 12, divided by 4 is 3, the opposite of square root is squared, so 3 squared is 9, 9 plus 6 is 15, 15 divided by 5 is 3. 
Okay, so that's how you go about doing these instantly. You'll hit this stage where you won't need to worry about that particular thing because you're uh, writing it out because you'll automatically start being able to recognize that. So anyway, hopefully that was of some help to you. We'll see you next time. Okay.